Uh, yeah, I'm streaming. I'm, I'm, I'm streaming today and I'm going to, my plan is to use a little bit of this stream as um, the World Boss Day painting challenge answer. I'm just going to answer my question for today uh, and then I'm going to hobby with my dragon. Uh, I need to motor on a little bit. I think I'm lacking a little bit behind. I need to, I think we are going to glue together the wings and the hands for him. Is it called hands? On a dragon? I don't think so. What's the reptile word for hand? <laughs> Pawn. No, it's not. Okay. Um, but yeah, okay. Let's uh, try to answer the question for today. And the question for uh, the Summer Painting Challenge 2023 is What was your first painted miniature? How did it feel to finish it? So for me personally, uh, the, the biggest problem is I can't remember the exact miniature I painted first because it's um, it's been it's in 1996 I painted my first one but I had some bowmans and I remember I have brown trousers on them and I kind of wanted to paint them as in the army book so this is my painting style back then and it's actually not bad I have mold lines everywhere and stuff like that because I didn't know you should uh, supposed to clean them up I put some just gravel I found outside and stick it to the base and some um, um, goblin green, citadel goblin green from that uh, old pots. So I have bowmans I painted. I, a little later I bought some uh, men at arms with spears. Uh, and you can see this paint job is also from that uh, period. And mithril silver used and beast brown. And the red, blood red, I think it was called, and then I painted some of my Bretonian knights. Every like this one was uh, something you had to buy in a blister box. Uh, these dudes you you got in that starter set from um, um, uh, fifth edition, I think, where you had the lizard men and the Bretonians. And from the lizard men Bretonian starter set, you got these knights, knight of the realms. So this is how I painted them back in the day, and you know, no green stuffing, no nothing, no clean up mold lines so you can if you look very closely you will see something uh, is a foot here but uh, and, uh, to be that um, long ago and just following what I saw in the army book how they painted it I don't think it's not a bad paint job I would give myself a pass on this this is more than workable uh, army looking looking actually pretty good to be you know without any knowledge <laughs> how to actually paint a miniature this is not bad this is very good first steps and I actually think um, and, and I can see I have painted and painted repainted so there are like um, there's probably like 20 years of paint jobs on this but the original like the layers of the white hair I'm not I don't know if you can see it on the camera but uh, let's see if you can I can't get it to focus, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a little bit harsh. Uh, the lights are kind of washing out a little bit at the paint job here, but uh, it's giving giving my whites a little pass. Uh, it's not that good when I look at it with my naked eyes. But anyways, that's the answer for today's question on World Wars Day painting challenge day three. So okay, and then we can move along and do some hobbying on our dragon. Just to be careful here and get my relics out of the way. And then we can get with the dragon. So, um, today, and thank you chat, Dart Holland, for uh, telling me what it's called. Limbs. The hands on a, on a reptile, a dragon, is called limbs. And it sounds, it sounds correct. So is it supposed to be under or over? Hmm. I need to check out with my uh, my box here, but it seems like it's going to be yeah, it's going to be under, and then we have the wing on top, isn't it? That way, or the highway. Let's see. Let's just dry dry fit them together and see how it works.
we are ending the prepping st uh, station of uh, of this dragon. I'm, I'm very excited right now. I think I'm I think I'm going to use um, this part here, and I'm going to put him on top here just as a shield, so I don't have this opening open. So I'm, I'm going to clip away some of it. And let's see if it works. If, if it doesn't, eh, who cares? If it does, awesome. So. Ah, okay, but yeah, um, I think it's a good end, end of the stream. Uh, guys, who do we ride? Do you have any suggestions? Uh, I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to put uh, my my high elf into soap. Already much shinier, so some of the so, some of the powder is already gone. Thank you all for making this happen and special thank you to everybody that smashed that like button to subscribe and to do some writings down below comments down below on anything ask me anything this is my warhammer channel and a very much special thank you to everybody that's my patreon shadowblade 9797 kbur andreas edison hans albert daniel jonsson barbos tay studios Octave Villar, Andreas Bakkehuv Mikkelsen, oh, and David Mofad. Oh my god! <claps> Boop! Thank you so much for making this happen. And Anyways, hey, thank you all for watching and see you in the next one. Bye now.